that is the figure is given like this. A, B, O and C, D. In the figure A, B equal to C, D, angle A, O, B is 90 degrees. If this is 90 degrees, naturally this should be equal to 90 degrees. And we want, we want to find out angle C, O, D. We know that A, B and C, D are cards. A, B and C, D are cards. Card is a line segment which does not pass through the origin is called card. But the longest card is the diameter. But in the earlier problem we have seen that if this is going to be, these are the two A, D as well as B, C are going to be there. Diagonals, then naturally these are called two interior angles. Interior angles are always equal. We know that. Therefore, Whenever it is making it as a right angle at the center, naturally COD is also going to be the other arc which should make it out of the 90 degrees. And moreover, if you want to join the lines AC as well as BD, now sum of the opposite angles is equal to 180 degrees we have seen. Whenever sum of the opposite angles is 180 degrees, naturally if this is 90, naturally this should be equal to 90 degrees because it is a straight angle. Whenever it is a straight angle, if it is 90, if this is 90, naturally this is 90 means total 180. This is also going to be 180. The total angle which is going to make out the 360 degrees. Therefore, whatever the angle it is making out here, the same angle should be made out by the card C O. The triangle C O D has to make out the same angle at the center. Therefore, in this way we can find out the angle. Now, in the next question of the same type, we are going to see that. If one angle is given it as an x degrees, what is going to be the other angle is going to be? That we are going to do. This is a circle. Now, this is a 100 degrees here given. This is C. B, D, A, O. In a figure O is the center of this circle and A, O, B is equal to angle A, O, B equal to 100 degrees. Now we want to find out A, D, B, angle A, D, B. That implies we want to find out this angle. If you look into this particular figure carefully, A, C, B, D is a quadrilateral. Therefore, a, C, B, D is a quadrilateral. Angle C plus angle D is equal to 180 degrees. But we have seen that angle O is 100 degrees means naturally the C should be half of this. Therefore, angle angle A C B is equal to half of the angle A O B. That implies this is equal to half of 100 degrees which is equal to 50 degrees. If this is 50 degrees, now this is 100 degrees, naturally we can find out this with respect to the angle C plus angle D. Therefore, angle C we got it as 50. Therefore, 50 degrees plus angle D is equal to 180 degrees. Angle D is equal to 180 degrees minus 30 degrees, which is equal to 150 degrees. That is 180 minus 50 degrees. Therefore, which is equal to 130 degrees. Here, I applied the properties of two properties. One is sum of the opposite angles is 180 degrees. The next one is one diagonal is going to be the 50 degree. one angle is 50 degrees means other angle is also going to be this at the center whatever the angle we have that is going to be the double the angle at the vertex at C that is the property which I used. The next question angle B A D angle B A D equal to 40 degrees here given. 
our main interest is we want to find out angle b c d we want to that c we want to find out naturally we can say that if this is 40 naturally this is also going to be the 40 because of we have seen earlier a b and c d are the two parallel lines one transversal line is dividing this one into the one transversal line is intersecting naturally sum of the interior angles that is sum of the opposite angles is going to be the same now this now here we know that angle o b a is also equal to 40 degrees now angles lying in a same segment therefore according to that we know that from the triangle OAB from the triangle OAB the sum of the angles is equal to sum of the angles is equal to 180 degrees whenever it is a sum of the angles is 180 degrees naturally this is going to be the 180 degrees angle O equal to 180 degrees minus that is we want to know that angle AOB equal to 180 degrees minus 40 degrees plus 40 degrees which is equal to 180 degrees minus 80 degrees which is equal to 100 degrees that implies this angle is 100 degrees now this angle is 40 degrees now if you join this and this naturally we are going to see that if this is 100 degrees naturally this is going to be the 100 degrees and then because of interior angles this is 40 40 therefore this is totally 180 i want to make this should be 180 that implies this angle and this angle are going to be the same therefore angle b is equal to angle c in the same manner because some of the opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilaterals are same angle a is equal to angle D therefore angle B 40 degrees means naturally angle C is also 40 degrees therefore in the same manner angle A is 40 degrees means naturally this is also going to be the 40 degrees therefore angle B C D is equal to angle B C D is equal to 40 degrees is the answer for this this is a circle A O B and this is D C. We want to find out the angles. This is 70 degrees. We want to find out the ang angles of O C D. Angle A O B equal to angle a o b equal to angle c o d equal to 70 degrees because of opposite angles angle o c d plus angle o d c angle o d c plus 70 degrees is equal to 180 degrees but we don't know what is going to be the angle o c d and moreover we don't know what is that this is equal to angle o c d plus angle o d c is equal to 180 degrees minus 70 degrees which is equal to 110 degrees angle o c d plus angle o d c is equal to 110 degrees now our main logic is we want to say that and moreover a b and c d are equal cards that fellow is saying whenever they are equal cards naturally they should make out the equal angles therefore angle o d c is equal to given that a b and c d are equal cards therefore angle ODC is equal to 110 degrees divided by 2 which is equal to 55 degrees naturally this is going to be 1 is going to be 55 degrees means other is also going to be 
ODC means angle OCD is also equal to 55 degrees. In that way, we can find out the angles of the triangle OCD. Now we want to find out the x degrees, y degrees as well as values. Let us consider ABC is a triangle. Now ABC is a triangle means naturally angle A plus angle B plus angle C is equal to 180 degrees. Now the logic is like this. Angle A is 30 degrees angle B plus angle C is equal to 180 degrees, angle B plus angle C is equal to 150 degrees. Naturally, angle B, angle B plus that is nothing but angle X degrees plus angle Y equal to 150 degrees. And AB and AC are the equal cards. Whenever A, B and A, C are the equal cards, naturally this will be angle X degrees is equal to 150 degrees divided by 2 that is equal to 75 degrees. Therefore, angle X is 75 means naturally angle Y is also equal to 75. Therefore, this point we have to remember. This is one of the important aspect of we have a circle. There is another circle. This is a common card. Let us take this P and Q are the centers. This is one triangle, this is another triangle. Let us call it as A, B. Now, our main interest is their centers lie on perpendicular bisector of the common card. That implies their centers are lying on the perpendicular bisector of the common card that is the basic idea of it. Actually in intermediate level that is plus 2 level in circles chapter this is having the highest priority. But in a geometrical proof we are going to prove in a different way. First of all PQ are the centers of the circles and then they are intersect the two circles are intersecting at a point AB then join AB this is a card. When AB is a card, if you join this A as well as this P to A and PAB is one triangle, PBQ is also going to be the other triangle. If we are able to prove that this and this are going to be the same, naturally they can say that this centers are lying on a common card. This is angle AOP is equal to, this is a point here angle AOP is equal to angle that is going to be angle AOP is the same as angle BOP. This is one of the important factor which we have to remember and AQ is the same as and AQ is equal to BQ and AP is also equal to PB. That implies they are having the same cards and then the radius are same because of AP is one radius as well as AQ are the radius. Therefore, here we can say that AP and then PB, AQ and BQ are the radius or the radii. Now our main interest is these two points are lying on this. That implies angle this plus angle this, angle this plus angle this is going to be the same. Then we can say that they are lying on the common card. Angle AOQ is equal to, angle AOQ plus and moreover if you see this 
quadrilateral angle A plus angle B here angle Q plus angle P equal to sum of the opposite angles is equal to in a, in a quadrilateral 180 degrees. Therefore, angle AOQ is the same as angle BOQ. Therefore, angle BOQ which is equal to half of this nothing but this total angle AOQ plus angle BOQ is equal to that is angle AOQ plus angle BOQ is equal to 180 degrees. That implies a, O, B are lying on a same straight line. The same manner, if you look into this, P, O, Q is also going to be the same straight line, then my problem is solved. Angle A, O, P plus angle A, O, Q is equal to 180 degrees because of they are lying on a same line and simultaneously this is equal to half of the 180 degrees which is equal to that is 90 degrees. Therefore, with regard to this angle AOP plus angle AOQ is equal to 180 degrees and with regard to this both are perpendicular to each other. Therefore, we can say that they are the bisecting at the common card this AP as well as Q this centers the line joining the centers are bisecting the common card which is a perpendicular to the the line joining the centers of the circle <coughs> this is one of the important aspect in this regard